I'm uh, Professor Susan Short. I'm a Professor of Clinical Oncology and Neuro-Oncology at the University of Leeds. So our research really overall aims to find new, more effective treatments for patients with poor prognosis uh, primary brain tumours, so poor prognosis gliomas. Well, research is important because you can't really move on without it. We don't have any way of making decisions about what, uh, what will improve the outlook for our patients unless you do good quality research. And that means high quality basic science in the lab, good quality translational uh, research to ensure that what happens in the lab is also likely to happen in the clinic, and then the right clinical environment to do high quality, efficient early phase clinical studies. Yeah, so this programme has been going for about three years and we've got a fair bit of uh, interesting work done already. There were three different aspects to the programme and they were all at slightly different start points in terms of where we are between the basic science and the clinic. The one that's probably nearest the clinic was the approach using oncolytic viruses to treat gliomas. Oncolytic viruses are viruses that have got the natural property of infecting and killing tumour cells. We use them for that reason, but we're also starting to understand that they also promote a local immune response around the tumour, which is probably equally important in terms of how they work. And we are now in a position where we've got two clinical studies starting using those agents. That's obviously very exciting. Uh, that's not the end of that story. We want to look and see whether there are ways of making that more effective. We think that it acts mainly as an immunotherapy uh, and we think that adding perhaps other types of immunotherapy at the same time would improve the effect of those agents further. And we're actively looking to see whether there are other viruses, other combinations or other ways we can really optimise the use of those viruses to, uh, to improve the outcomes that we see. And that includes using the viruses as um, delivery vehicles for other drugs and other constructs. So, We've got a fair way with that project, there's still, uh, there's still lots to do. I think the view at the moment is that we've been really trying conventional treatments, slightly different versions of conventional treatments for many, many years and actually we keep getting the same answer, which is that these tumours do not respond very well to conventional treatments. So I think the idea that there is something that is a really new approach, that is really using a totally different um, paradigm, uh, is a really important aspect of the, of the hope that we, uh, that we can deliver with these, these projects. I think at the end of the programme we would like to have taken um, a significant proportion of our basic science ideas through to the clinic um, and we've achieved some of that already. I think if at the end we've got a list of projects that are ready to go into the clinic or on the way into the clinic as well as some new questions that we need to ask uh, in the laboratory that will help us uh, for the future and help us understand the biology of these difficult tumours uh, a bit better we will feel we've done quite well. I think all good research is pioneering and I think this research is pioneering. There are very few uh, groups uh, that have got the combination of good basic science, the right preclinical models and the right people to be able to take these sorts of ideas forwards uh, and I think we've been in a, a unique situation to be able to do that.